वेलकम टू बी एस सी स्टाटिस्टिक स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी डिस्कस वी डू वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ ए लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम सो हाउ टू फॉर्मुलेट मैथमेटिकली ए लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वॉट वन प्रॉब्लम first i read the problem you see a company manufactures two types of products a and b and sells them at a profit of 2 rupees on type a and 3 rupees on type b each product is processed on two machines so that is every product is going to be processed on two machines rendu machines loni process avvali Product A requires one minute of processing time on machine one and two minutes on machine two. That is to produce product A, one unit of product A, one item of product A. It requires one minute processing time on machine one, two minutes processing time on machine two. Pr product similarly, product B requires two minutes on machine one. and 3 minutes on mission 2 okay the mission 1 is available for not more than 6 hours while mission 2 is available for 10 hours during any working day and formulate the problem as a linear programming problem this is what the problem it is given to us and you have to formulate mathematically a linear programming problem right so first what is the first step decision variables identify the decision variables what are the decision variables the decision variables are the product a and product b the units of product a and product b that is number of items produced of product a and product b so that is what i am writing first of all the decision variables solution in the solution what i am writing first as x1 there are two decision variables since two products a and b so hence i am writing uh, the number of units are number of items number of units of product a product a similarly number of units of product b which is x2 so x1 x2 decision variables we have formulated that is very important and crucial which decides uh, remaining all points the main three important points so the first one first point in the formulation step one this is step one finished now what is step two step 2 objective function what is our objective objective function what is the objective of this particular problem what is the objective of this particular problem objective is you see here sells them at a profit of 2 rupees of type on type a and 3 rupees on type b so the company requires 2 rupees on one unit of type a and 3 rupees on one unit of type b are product a and product b and type a type b so we can write here type a and type b product a instead of product a and product b and two uh, type a and type b we can write okay right so right uh, so on one unit of uh, the profit on one unit is 2 rupees therefore the profit on x1 is 2 into x1 rupees you understand profit on one unit of x profit on one unit of product a is 2 rupees therefore x1 units profit on x1 units is 2 x1 rupees is it right right then 
profit uh, required on uh, one unit of uh, product A, that is product B, that is type B, it is 3 rupees, rupees 3. So therefore, what you have to write is, uh, so on one unit of, uh, on one unit of product B, that is uh, type B, it requires 3 rupees profit. Therefore, on X2 units, uh, 3 into x2 rupees this is also in terms of rupees now 2x1 it is in rupees 3x2 rupees 3 2x1 rupees is the profit of uh, profit on product a and 3x2 rupees and profit on product b so right so therefore the total profit the total profit z is equal to i am writing as 2x1 plus 3x2 it is rupees in terms of rupees do you understand this so this is uh, for example 2 rupees on one uh, unit for example x1 is equal to 10 10 into 2 20 rupees that is the reason why multiplication similarly here 3 into x2 one on one unit uh, of product b 3 rupees is required the profit so on 5 units 5 into 3 15 unit 15 rupees profit is required profit is expecting so therefore 3 x 2 rupees the total profit on product a and product b is i am converting as z is equal to x1 plus 3 x2 which is to be maximized which is to be maximized so therefore Objective function step 2 is maximize z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2. Why maximization? Since profit. Since profit. Profit is going to be maximized. Sales is going to be maximized. Like so here it is profit. So therefore it is going to be maximized. So next step 3. Step 3 constraints. Constraints. So the constraints, how do you construct any kind of interrelationship between the variables which are there, you have to observe and then you have to formulate. You see, there are certain conditions here. Product A requires one, min one minute of processing time on mission 1 and two minutes on mission 2. So some particular uh, clear uh, uh, condition that product A requires if you want to produce one unit of product A one item of product A it requires it must be processed from mission 1 and mission 2 one minute on mission 1 and two minutes on mission 2 it requires the processing time that is what it is specified similarly product B requires two minutes on processing time on mission 1 and 3 minutes processing time on mission 2 then only one unit of product B it, it is going to be produced and then the mission 1 is available for not more than 6 hours while mission 2 is available for 10 hours during any working day so that is I am considering the two particular constraints or interrelationships which are given here what I possible understand if I understand possibly I can have mission 1 mission 1 I can con construct one particular condition and mission 2 looking to be another particular uh, condition or interrelation so now you observe here on mission 1 one minute processing time on mission one which is required product a requires product a means if one unit of if let it let it be let be let it be very clear that one unit of to to manufacture one unit of product a it requires on mission one i am talking about mission one here mission one and here also mission one product a one to manufacture one item of product A, it requires uh, one minute of processing time on mission 1. One minute of processing time, that is to produce uh, 
x1 items to produce x1 items that is for example to produce 5 items 5 into 1 5 minutes of processing time on mission 1 it is required now it is 5x1 is time period minutes right so now i am writing here here uh, product here to produce one unit to produce one unit it requires to produce one unit of uh, uh, product a it requires one minute so multiplied by x1 that is uh, to produce x1 units of x1 units of product a it requires 1 into x1 minutes it is minutes 1 into x1 minutes of processing time on mission 1 and it come to the product b time processing time 2 minutes of product b requires 2 minutes on mission 1 2 minutes of processing time that is to produce 1 unit it requires 2 minutes 1 unit of product B, it requires 2 minutes on mission 1, processing time on mission 1, that is to produce X, X2 units, X2 units or X2 items on mission, on, uh, mission 1, X2 items of product B on mission 1, the processing time must be 2 into plus 2 into X2 minutes of processing time it is required for mission 1 that is mission 1 the total processing time is x1 plus 2 x2 minutes but it is given that you observe the mission 1 is available for not more than 6 hours that is maximum working hours in a particular day it is 6 hours for mission 1 6 hours not more than 6 hours that is less than or equal to it is given as less than or equal to. So, which means uh, this must be less than or equal to. Whatever this entire processing time, it must be less than or equal to 6 hours. But everything, every, this processing time is in minutes. Therefore, I am converting. This is six, multiplied by 60 minutes. So, 360. So, therefore, constraint I am writing as x1 plus 2 x2 is less than or equal to 360. This is one constraint. Clear. Now come to the next one. Constraint number two on mission two. On mission two, the two minutes of processing time, two minutes of processing time on mission two. Product A requires two minutes to produce one unit of one unit of product A. It requires two minutes on mission two, which means two minutes on mission two which means uh, to produce x1 units of mission x1 units of product a on mission 1 mission 2 it requires 2 into x1 minutes 2 into x1 minutes right similarly come to the next one product b product b requires uh, 3 minutes on mission 2 3 minutes on mission 2 product b requires to produce one unit of product B, mission 2 requires 3 minutes processing time. Product B requires 3 minutes to produce one unit of product B. It requires 3 minutes of processing time on mission 2. That is to produce X2 units of the X2 units of product B. It requires 3 into x2 minutes of processing time on mission 2. So, therefore, the total processing time on mission 2 is 2x1 plus 3x2 minutes. But you have a one particular condition on mission 2. While mission 2 is available for 10 hours. Is available for 10 hours means it's maximum 10 hours. It cannot work more than 10 hours. Which is again less than or equal to con Con constraint 10 hours which means multiplied by 60 it is uh, therefore 2x1 plus 3x2 which is less than or equal to 600 minutes 600 minutes 
do you understand this this is what uh, the formulation of uh, constraints uh, constraints uh, th these are the two constraints which are given in this particular problem so therefore and the last one step uh, four non negativity obviously whatever the product uh, units uh, the units of uh, units of uh, product a and product b i have considered or type a and type b it requires uh, always greater than the equal zero so no particular other option it is available here always we must have to specify that x1 and x2 are greater than the equal zero so therefore the two units the product of two particular units the units of product a and product b are always greater than equal to 0 and x1 x2 greater than equal to 0 finally what i write the mathematical formulation of a linear programming problem it is objective function maximize objective function z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 it is in terms of rupees and constraints that is what we call subject to the constraints constraints there are two constraints we have first one x1 plus 2x2 it is less than or equal to 360 it is minutes in terms of minutes second one 2x1 plus 3x2 it is less than or equal to 600 it is also in terms of minutes and then finally and non negative restrictions x1 comma x2 greater than equal to 0 this is what we write the mathematical formulation the mathematical formulation of the given linear programming problem hope you understand this is what the way you have to formulate mathematically of a given problem as a linear programming problem thank you